So when we're beginning to work in the new garage, we kind of have the idea of just kind of resurrecting the things that were really cool and I've just had a lot of time to sit and get a little rusty and stuff. So that brings us to our rotary shifter here, kind of our pride and joy. Um, so this thing needs a lot of stuff. Uh, the trailer fell on it and it snapped the seat. That's easy money. We'll just put a Go Power Sport seat back on it. We also are gonna re-gear the rear end because even in our top speed video, we found out that it was limited by the gearing, not because it was too tall, but because it wasn't allowing the rotary to get into the power band in six gear. So we're gonna change that out. And then also we have, <laughs> the clutch has given us so many problems. I'm sure if y'all have followed this thing, we'll remember, but we're gonna try to replace the old mechanical style with the lever that always got stripped out with basically a hydraulic slave cylinder, master cylinder. So that's gonna be a lot of custom work. We're probably gonna save that till the end though because I have not been looking forward to it. So let's just start with the rear gear and the seat because that stuff I know we can come out on top of. The old seat. This is our old sprocket, we just got it off, and here's what our new sprocket's gonna be. So we'll definitely be burning a lot more rubber, and it should get us in our power band at high speeds. So yeah, we just need to build this thing up. Good. Good. It looks like we are good here. Not too bad, just a quick job. Joe, we got, Joe helped us get the seat on and then we put the sprocket on. So now let's just go over and finally get started on checking out our rotary clutch. Oh, I guess our welding table needed oil anyway. So this nut is supposed to be on here, and it's not. It was in the bottom of this. But it doesn't look like it caused any major damage. Wait, what? This nut that goes right here. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. That's not good. No, but it doesn't look um, like terrifically broken. Yeah. Although this this is like really, this is really Does it metallic? metally oil. See that? Yeah. Something's crusty. It's probably just the welded part. No, it's outside the welded Oh, it's just, oh, it's the welded ball bearing. Let's see how the end looks. I think that's a lot of the metal we see. Dude, no, the ball bearings were in there and it's welded. Like, look, I bet I couldn't even break it. <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> There's the ball bearing right there. So if we could just like weld that shaft. I don't know. Well, we got good news and bad news. And the good news is mostly that we can work with what's bad. So the problem is this clutch is designed to spin. Um, and because this rod is spinning really, really fast, and this rod was stationary, which used to just go to a solid mount lever, what happens is this is spinning and it goes against our bearing balls and it just completely melts. Um, and it gets friction welded together. And that's why I had to snap it apart. Um, so now we have two bearing balls that are welded together. Um, and it's just kind of a train wreck. But the good news is, what can happen with this setup is that this rod can spin inside of this. This is like a $20 Harley part I got off of eBay because it fits a six millimeter rod like this one. So if we wreck this thing, at least it's not a proprietary like rotary part that doesn't exist anymore. So we got this mounted up. It didn't take too much fab. All I did was weld two quarter 20 bolts, one to the existing bolt, and then one to that plate y'all saw me make up. Um, 
So yeah, we're crossing our fingers, this should work. Something I'm worried about is it kind of pivoting left or right and then getting off center, but I think it should work, I don't know, hopefully. All right, moment of truth, let's see. Here we go. Hey, is that okay. out? Let's see. Oh, that actually might, let's see, does it move? So it's loose, and then off. Bro, I works. think we got a working clutch. Dude, I yeah, never thought this would work. It, it really doesn't move much at all. I'm glad. So yeah, and it, it doesn't take that much force either. So like, this isn't moving at all. Yeah. You know, it's just kind of there. So clean. With our gearing done, as well as the clutch, we're trying our very best to get this behemoth in. Okay. I believe for now. We got the engine mounted, so now the next step is to route our brake line from this brake master cylinder to our clutch. So on the Ninja, this thing is pushed in, so we have to mount this kind of up front from the pedal. But it actually should look pretty clean, and we can just mount our, um, you know, reservoir kind of in the middle up front, and it should be pretty nice. I hope you liked all of the footage of the hydraulic line install. It looks really good. So now the moment of truth is it looks pretty, but is it gonna work? Is that moving? It's moving. Dude, it feels really good on your foot. Yeah? Like it's, it's like. Hey, get, get, a, get a front shot, Joe. Wow. It doesn't have to move much. That's but pretty. It bottoms out nicely on the cylinder from the ninja. Does it feel like an actual clutch? Yeah, it really does. Like it gets a little bit harder at the end and stuff? Mm, no. There's no. no feel, Oh, but it feels solid. Okay, well that's nice. It's like the MX. Sure. Well, now 
it works on that account. Uh, so now what we'll do is, I guess, put it, put it in first and see if I can push you. Okay, that is first. Okay, clutch in. All right, just see if it is. Oh, it's, that, it's engaged. That is engaged. Clutch in. That's just a chain. <laughs> yeah, the chain needs to be stretched out. But that's not bad. Yeah, that's a chain on our roll that we made. Um, but yeah. Okay, I say we finish her up. It's, pretty it's been a really long time since this thing's even run, so yeah. let's just see. This thing is visceral. The regear really kind of changes characteristics. Like y'all could see when we did the launches, it just burned rubber. And then even on the turns there, there I was going kind of fast. I wasn't expecting it, but it was, you know, spinning the tires. It's it's crazy. Yeah, absolute ripper. The clutch works. Yeah, we did it. Like there's no, <laughs> it works. I mean, we did a hydraulic clutch conversion on a, you know, close to 40 year old motor, it's pretty sweet. But with that being said, this thing is an absolute animal. I forgot we kind of built such a monster. And it kind of is outgrowing these, you know, this area we can ride in. We need, we kind of need a solution. So that's where we come to you guys. We're asking if anyone has access to somewhere pretty flat and paved we would greatly appreciate it where we could really rip it. We definitely could take this thing to a drag strip. We also have a track membership, so we'll see things out there. Um, but yeah, let's, let's try to make some more awesome videos of this thing. So stay tuned. 
the rotaries, unless by like y'all's popular demand or whatever, is going to be kind of just like something we keep and is just going to pop up whenever we feel like we want to have, you know, kind of a pick me up vid because this thing is so cool. Um, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Go Power Sports. We'll see you next time.